Today we're going to find out what trucks real farmers drive. But before we do that, I'm here at Mr. Trucks and today we're going to be selling the goats. Unfortunately, the goats have to go. They've been here for years, but Mr. Truck has decided to move them. Mr. Truck! So what's going on? How come you're selling the goats? Well, somebody's got to. <laughs> Not oh. you're going to feed them forever. No, I mean this used to be a petting zoo for my seven grandchildren. Okay, now they're all moving around and moving away, and I don't have time to do chores anymore. You know, I used to have horses, goats, snakes, chickens, ducks, and they all the grandkids had fun. Well, now you know there's going to be nobody here to feed them while I'm off Detroit or wherever I'm going. So you're I've testing got... heavy-duty trucks. Yes, testing those heavy-duty trucks. Unless you want the goats. <laughs> We're gonna, no, we're gonna I, get a rabbit away too, so I, the goats are gonna get sold. I don't have anywhere to put the goats. Yes, and there's an auction in Fort Collins where Rome and I went to that hay auction at one time. Yes, and they sell goats, chickens, llamas, horses, cattle, everything. So we're gonna go up there and and see some real trucks, right? Yes, we'll go out there and see what everybody else is driving these days. <laughs> All right, a lot of cool trailers up there. Okay, let's do it. Okay, on the road again. <laughs> When they were bottle babies for the grandkids. The grandkids fed them bottles. They were little tiny guys. They had a lot of fun with them. And they're they're tame. They're fun. Tommy likes them. Okay. Well, it's a sad day, isn't it? It is. Oh, sure. no how many years did you have your goats? I think about three years. They were baby, they're called kids. A baby goat's a kid, like a lamb is a lamb. Oh, okay. So they're kids, and they're Nigerian dwarfs. Well, I see a lot of trucks here, so... This I'm, is where we unload. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can get some real farmers here and get some real information. Yeah, there's a lot of trailers here, and this is where we, Roman and I went to the hay auction here. It's a pretty okay. big sale. All right, well, let's get going. Let's back up and unload these puppies. Look at this. We're actually using our stalker trailer the way it's meant to be used with goats. We usually use water toads to make the weight that we need for towing. But hey, this is cool. Dude, so should we unload the goats? Check out that Chevy, it's a 3500 one ton, single rear wheel, but it's a short wheelbase. And I talked to the owner of the truck, he didn't want to be on camera, but he kind of told me a little bit of a story behind this truck. It's a diesel, a Duramax engine, but he likes single rear wheel for his ranch and farming trucks because his ranch is sandy. And he said, you know, when you have a dually, big heavy truck, not only does it sink a little bit in the sand, but you're actually pushing more tracks through the sand and it's harder to get going. So that's a hard working truck, about 150,000 miles on this Chevy, working and towing. So it's nice to see, but also very interesting to see a smaller truck towing a trailer. Dually, this is a five-speed. Yep, five-speed. I bet you're disappointed the Ram no longer makes those five-speeds. Yeah, they, or six-speeds. I wish they did. Yes, <laughs> yeah. the good old trucks are one and a kind anymore. Yes. But it's manual Cummins. It's really cool to see. How the, has it been working for you? It's wonderful. I pull big horse trainer one most of the time with horses, and it's, it's great. I like the Dually, the stability of that. Yeah. 
for the extra tires and whatnot, so yeah. Do you keep yeah. track of fuel mileage? Does that bother you at all? I just no. gotta go where I go and I do what I have to do. You gotta get the job done. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't pull it a lot, but when I do, I, I can count on it. Yeah. So you're saying the newer trucks, I mean, they could be, what, 60, 70, 80,000 bucks. You'd have to live in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm retired. My salary doesn't cut that. So this one will stay with me probably till I can't drive it anymore. And this is my, this is my second Dodge, and I will never go to anything else. Okay. I had trouble with Fords and Chevys both. And I'll never go back. All right, well, thank you for talking to us. <laughs> Good I luck. appreciate it. Thank you. Can't. Oh, 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 oh. No, it's all about the club sandwich, dude. Okay. Club. This is country pie. This comes from the country. Ooh, cherry pie. But chocolate cream pie is for sophisticated types. Really? And I am eating chocolate. What cream about pie. cherry? You know, this is scientific. This would be sci You're a scientist, aren't you? Yes. I'm a redneck scientist, so I get extra credit. <laughs> Dude, here's what I propose. There's a lot of trucks here in the lot. Yes. How about we just count how many of each brand, Ram, Ford, or GM, we can see? That's cool, because this is farm country. There's a lot of Rams here. Yeah. Actually, there's a lot of all the brands, but you'll see a lot of old Rams here, which is kind of interesting. All right, let's count. Okay, let's count. Okay. I want to do the GMs. All right, I'll count the Rams and Fords. I'm four. Oh, you can do two of them. You got two in your head, or I'm a scientist. I let the cameraman count them, but you do whatever you want to do. Okay. So, what was your count on the General Motors trucks? I between GMC and Chevy, I got ten. I did count one Toyota. Okay, one Toyota. I counted Fords and Rams. I got 10 Fords, including yours, uh -huh. and 15 Rams yes, that's or Dodges. So why do you think Rams are more popular here? Well, that's a good question. A lot of it is, is the culture. People, their grandfathers had them, you know, so they keep buying what the family bought. They're, they're big in the horse community and the farm community, so their marketing is aimed at the agricultural group. You know, just like that, the new series they have where you can get a flatbed on the, on the ram, yeah. you can get all those different things, the color of your tractor, they really point toward ag, so that, there's no surprise when there's more rams in the ag area. Rainbow Bruno, you guys are okay. It's not that bad. It's not that bad, all right? <laughs> so tell me the story this is a 2001 f-250 how'd you make the choice to buy this one well i i knew that the 6.0s and 6.4s had problems and i couldn't afford anything with a 6.7 so i decided to go with a 7.3 this is the diesel you're talking about yeah yeah, yeah. and um this has 207,000 miles on it but the guy just took really good care of this truck. So what do you use this truck for? Mostly pulling the horse trailer. Just the horses, okay. You looked like online, just general Craigslist. stories, Craigslist. Craigslist mostly, I mean, yeah. there's stories about the six liter. I mean, how did you f kind of find out the research? How did yeah. you research it? I j just had done, talked to various people uh -huh. and seen stuff online and yeah. kind of went by that. And some things I'd seen some mechanics post. So, so far, so you're pretty happy? Yeah, so far. Nice. Haven't had it very long, but it runs good and it's clean. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank yes. you. Sometimes just a regular class 3 or 4 or 5 dually will not do. You gotta get something bigger, like this international crew cab truck. Pretty impressive. International. I love that engine. It's been around forever. They just had this one overhauled, so it's good for another million miles or two. It's 
specially made trailer, a custom trailer. I've never seen one quite like this. Real narrow nose, which of course helps with re wind resistance and fuel mileage. But it's made for weight. That's aluminum trailer. He's loading with goats now. But it's a double decker. You can put a lot of goats in there. I would, my guess would be you could put 250 goats on there. But it's really a cool trailer. <laughs> We met some very cool people. They saw are. some very interesting trucks. Yes. And we got your goats sold. Oh well, yeah. It did, well, we don't know what they brought yet, but yeah, last last week they were bringing like around 145 a piece. I'd be so tickled to get less than that, but it's cool. They're my old bottle goats for my grandkids. But this is my people, the ranchers and farmers. They all have trucks like me, traders like me. They talk like me, and that's special. But anyway, and if it talks like you and walks like you, is it you? It's a duck. Oh. But anyway, this is so cool. We saw some big rigs. I mean, that was yeah. a 42 foot trailer, triple axle, with that international tractor on it. He's loading goats, watch him do all that. A lot of sheep here, horses, cattle. And go back to tfltruck.com for more news, views, and real world truck reviews. And where else? MrTruck.com <laughs>